you got your chakra ages. It's going to be your uh, it's going to be your reading for Gemini. Sun, moon, rising. Wherever Gemini is in your chart. Hopefully you find a message that resonates with you. Spirit. What messages do you have for the great sign of Gemini? Happy belated birthday. Happy birthday. Have a good day. Set some new goals. Stay consistent. Don't be impulsive. Don't be inconsistent. Don't be nosy. Don't be nosy. Don't be inconsistent. Mind your own business. Eight of guidons, eight of wands, let me show you. Eight of wands, nine, uh, six of swords. Manifesting how to protect, provide. You might need to let go of a few vices, a few doubts, a few um, self-limiting beliefs that could lead to false setbacks. Somebody might have been worried about some type of job security. It's gonna be well, it's gonna be alright. It's gonna work out just fine. Five of Pentacles here. Yeah. You might have something where two of two of uh two of God on making that decision, needing to make that change, being presented with a leap of faith but you're gonna have to take this leap of faith now for you can't be scared normally when you normally when it's uh fear or hesitant it's what you're supposed to do let me see Someone may have been grieving a loved one. Don't marry anybody for wrong reasons. No, it's not something that you should do. Ace of Swords, that was your fear. You didn't want somebody marrying you for wrong reasons. Or... You didn't want to be... You didn't want to change for the worst for the wrong reason. You might have coworkers that you can work and get the task accomplished, but when it comes to common goals, it's individuality you might not um, you might not be on the same path yeah queen of pentacles don't let anybody use you be focused on achieving a goal stay sober don't let nothing take you don't let nothing take you from sobriety. You know, sobriety is a beautiful thing at all times. And you want to maintain it at all times. Don't forget that. It's worth it. Yeah. yeah. 
Ten of Swords, Knight of Swords. You might be giving advice to somebody that you might have conquered something that you could help somebody else conquer. Or you might work in the field of substance uh, recovery. Something like that. You know, something to do with helping the overall betterment of the lives of several. Because you, you've seen either you very motivational and can help others stay consistent in their changes. You can help others want to follow through you can be that other other that you needed to find to figure out that motivational resource within you so yeah don't tell different versions of the truth judgment. Use good judgment. Judgment is the way that you utilize time. In the present moment, what can you accomplish? If you don't use time to accomplish something, then how is that using good judgment? You want to also look at the resources around you. You want to look at the point of why a setting is as it presents itself and figuring out that setting allows you to figure out your cast what what casting of your cares and worries onto God Almighty can you benefit from hmm me give you a see where your chakras are. Alright. Like neon yellow. No, it's yellow. <laughs> neon green is there. So yellow. We're gonna go with your hold on. Yeah, we're going to go with your solar plexus. Amen. You know, moving from your lower. Hold on. I don't know. If, oh, yeah, I'm too tall for this camera. It's gone. <laughs> Can't come back myself in here, but one second. It's from your lower to right. Right here. It's on your abdomen. So this is, you're gonna have to soothe yourself, you know. It's all about that, maybe that nurturing part of yourself is looking for some type of a solution. Maybe there's a way of being that depends on you to be present as only that being first and foremost. Sometimes you gotta be the you that God put you here to become because instead of saying that God is hard to find, God is trying not to miss you, but only knows to find you for who you should become. And it's waiting on your prayer. It's waiting on your prayer. Because as we become who God wants us to become, others' opinions 
or treatment of us can either encourage us or discourage us temporarily. And as we're going, God forgive me for falling, not victim, but falling into the confusion. Help help me out of this this temporary uh, juxtapose, a position. Restore me to my pureness and let me walk upright in integrity. Let there be no need to uh, live in a facade. Let my being be naturally requested because it is of a necessary essence first comforting to myself as well as authentic to God. When you're authentic to God, God can really show you who God is, especially for you, because when you're looking for God for you, you allow God to grow too. Amen? And when you allow God to grow, you get to see that you're not alone. So having the nurtured confidence as well as your self-worth and your self-esteem repaired. Go and browse the channel. It's a, it's a DNA healing in there. <clears throat> Might be African, uh, Afro-Brazilian, but They've, we've come from the perspective of the hardest struggles. So I'm sure it'll be of the intensity and the strength necessary to conquer it, whatever. The peace that passes all understanding. So yeah, you should find what you need. Amen. Stay anointed. Amen. All right. All right. So, <laughs> when your throat chakra is open and balanced, you will find that you are not only able to speak fearlessly and with compassion, but you will also be open to listening and to hearing others. Being able to talk openly and honestly, but with care and concern for others is a gift to all your relationships. Who had a black throat chakra? Congratulations. You know. Congratulations to no longer being blocked, amen. And the first step to no longer being blocked is to admit you need to unblock it, to seek it and find it, to stay persistent, knowing that you're gonna succeed. Amen. Amen. Spirit, what final messages do you have for the lovely sign of Gemini, Ace of Pentacles, King of Cups? King of Cups is the representation of pure confidence balance, yet utilized to only build. A King of Cups feels great when they can say that their character is so strong that if you come to them for business advice, they can give it to you and want to see you succeed. And not be brash, ignorant, and don't know it. Amen. The very balanced 
Ace of Pentacles. Huh. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Hmm. Being able to be that see these two? Divine masculine, divine feminine in their own way. You might have to have the strength that a single parent, you might have a natural single parent demeanor, but God didn't mean for you to be a single parent. See, God is going to place you on the pathway of prosperity. God is going to place you. Hold on. You know, it's, uh, we give thanks to the Lord and proclaim your greatness. We will let the whole world know what you have done. For your love remains forever with those who fear you. Your salvation extends to the children's children of those who are faithful to your covenant of those who obey your commandments. Amen. Amen. And for those that are of that caliber of, of uh, lineage, it's too much to waste time trying to degrade an imperfection because it only empowers it. So having, having to answer that particular demand required by God in the spiritual gymnasium of uh, eldership, God wants to know just exactly your joy of having to make sure that upon first impression you are the light you are the love of God amen you know Psalms 138 and 8 the Lord will work out his plans for my life. For your faithful love, O Lord, endures forever. Don't abandon me, for you made me. Amen. He called us to be single parents. He is not surprised by this circumstance, by the way. And his power has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Throughout that path, how close to God are you going to fight to keep your godliness? To keep your life? That is the main test of parenthood. How much on a day-to-day -day basis are you going to fight to not be ignorant, to not fall victim and move about this world as if it's just you? And even if it was just you, why indulge in ignorance? Amen? Excuse me. So yeah, there's no room for it. But to have to be, see, when two, house, when two parent households thrive, it's because each one has worked on themselves as a single parent 
and then can respect what each one brings to such an empowering purpose and a calling. That phrase covers absolutely anything we could ever need to parent our children with divine love and wisdom, with or without a spouse. But I'm all for it. I'm all for the unification of, of greatness. I'm all for solidifying the enchanted connection of two powerful individuals that can say no recession conquered them because they don't announce it. I'll speak about it in another one, on another sign. Probably I'm going to do Libra next. Nah, I'm going to go in order. We got Cancerian videos. We got them uh, Christians, you know. And for those that's on the cusp, just protect yourself. You want to protect yourself. You want to stay rooted in ministry. And manifesting greatness is powerful because most connections thrive when you bring the best out of the other without forcing it, it's natural. And the topic isn't uncomfortable. It's empowering because the next question, excuse me, the next question is, where are you currently in your maturity? And exactly how much improvement can you make? And can it be agreed on that the improvement is look forward to, not dread it. Hmm. Good luck, Gemini, on your journey. Stay prayed up, stay prayerful, stay covered in peace, glory. Uh, stay away from triflingness. Stay you, but stay away from being the you you never want to stay. Mm. Sure, y'all talented enough, you'll figure, you'll figure out the meaning of some type of sustenance and what, what was just said. So, stay prayed up, alright? Namaste. Mm.